Hello, my name is Josiah Ray, and I'm going to show you how to key out an iPhone screen and put an effect in its place. Now, first of all, to get, to get a kind of a key, we're going to fake a green screen. And to do that without, you can put tape, colored tape on top of your iPhone or your Android phone, which is what this is. But what I used was I used a free paint program. And you just select the paint bucket with a green or a blue color and you tap in the background and it fills the entire background with that color. And then you can record it as though it's got a green screen on it. So coming into After Effects, you can see this is the shot that I've created. And I've put an effect into its place and it actually it looks pretty good. And you can put basically anything in behind it. That's just something that I, I put together to show how to, how to have an effect come through from behind the screen. So, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up our footage and you can see that I've got this composition created with my, my phone screen being recorded and all. Now, first we're going to duplicate the footage and when you select the layer you can push the enter key and rename it. We're going to rename this to track mat. And you'll, you'll see the reason for that later. First, let's go to, let's try to key it just as it is. So select effect, keying, and go down to key light, which is an effect that was built into After Effects and it works amazingly for keying out green screens and blue screens. We're just gonna select the key color eyedropper here, go into our composition and select the color of the screen. And right away you can see there's a few problems with this, but let's, uh, let's play with it and see what happens. Select under view, go down to status, and the gray is stuff that it doesn't really know. Now, we want all of, the, all of the screen to be black and all the stuff that's not screen to be white. So let's bring the screen gain up a little bit and you can see it kind of cuts out the rest of the gray in the screen. And for screen matte, let's bring the clip white down and you can see it begins to fill in some stuff around the sides. Now from this view it looks alright, but if we go back to final result, you can see there's a lot of this black noise around the sides of the phone in, the, uh, in this rubber part that I've got around the phone. And that's not working out so well for us. You can see it's really garbled as you scroll through it. So we're going to have to do something a little more inventive to get this to work right. So first let's turn off key light. And we're going to go instead to effect, color correction, brightness and contrast. And what we want to do is we want to make that green screen really pop out so that the software can grab it really cleanly. So let's bring the contrast up quite a bit. And you can see it, it blows out very quickly, way too bright, and we'll bring the brightness down. And we really want this to, to be a very green color. So something something close to that maybe where it's a very uniform kind of green color and we can play with it later if that doesn't quite work now we want this to happen before we try to key out the color so inside of the effects panels drag this on top of key light and after effects will automatically know that you are changing the color before you're trying to key it so we'll turn key light back on and let's just reset it real quick by pushing the reset button and we're going to re-grab that screen color right kind of in the middle there. Go back to status and change it again and already you can tell that this is going to come out to be a lot cleaner. You just kind of go through the steps again and if we go back to final result the image looks awful but the screen looks alright. We'll come, come down to the sides where it starts to mess up. You want to make sure because it's not an image you want to make sure that your key works the whole way through your footage. So feel free to scroll back and forth and try to try to really get that to work well. So, now we've got the screen keyed out, how do we get the image to look normal again? Well, the answer is, we're going to say, use the key from this bad image, but leave the color from the good one. And you notice we've still got the footage underneath, let's make that visible again. And the screen comes back, which is not what we wanted to have happen. We want the opposite to happen. So come over to to this toggle switches and modes button and click it so that you can see the these uh, transfer modes and the track mat and we're going to select for footage alpha track mat 
and you can see that the screen is now removed. Um, it's not, the key isn't quite perfect, which we couldn't see before, but the screen is removed for us. So let's, let's come into the, back to the track mat. We're going to alter the key light properties, and we want to grow that screen, or shrink the screen, until it completely fills that up. And we can make it a little softer if we would like, but that's not looking too bad. So as we scrub through, we can see that the, the screen is pretty much removed. Now you might notice a little bit of green still around the edges, and that's just because it's a lit surface, the, light is, the green light is coming off the screen and bouncing off the sides of the phone. And we don't want to remove them because they're not part of the screen, we just want to make them not look green. Now, the key light will do that automatically, but we're not using key light on the footage, and so it's not helping us at all. So what we can do instead is we can just suppress that color. So select footage and come up to effect, go color correction, and we're going to go to selective color. All we want to do is really affect the, uh, the greens or the cyan. So let's, let's come into cyan and we're going, to, we're going to switch this back from the track map. We're going to switch it back to no track so we can see what we're doing. And we're going to open up the cyan and alter that so that it's this is its saturation, so it's all the way down. And we might bring a little bit of magenta in, just to kind of counteract, um, make it the opposite. What, we, what we're shooting for is we're shooting for a gray or maybe a gray with a slightly reddish tint. So that's not looking too bad. And if we select uh, back under track map, we go back to the alpha so that it comes back. You can see all of that green around the side of it is gone. The last step is pretty simple. I've already created this, this uh, effect in here that you can see which is, is just uh, a lot of fractal noise kind of being animated. And we're going to put that in behind the screen. So come back to our screen key composition and we're going to drop the new screen in underneath the footage. And there it is. The effect is pretty much done. You can see that that animates completely underneath the screen and the screen from the iPhone is completely gone. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial on how to key out an iPhone or any phone screen using Adobe After Effects. I'm Josiah Ray.